Well, it looks like a um, good straightforward part three um, with the trees and you, you see the trees going a little bit. So already you're feeling kind of a low shot be, uh, below the top of the trees to keep the wind out of play a little bit. And uh, well, let's first uh, get the distance, how far the shot is. Let's take the laser. One seventy-five meters. Well, I've got a laser without slope, but I guess it's about seven or eight meters downhill. So then we're looking at a one sixty-seven, and you're always trying to uh, calculate all the conditions, uh, and then uh, conclude it with a, a number where you can commit to. So we're at one sixty-seven now. Looks like the wind is helping a little bit. So, well, let's say seven meters. So we're looking at a 160 meter shot. And for me, that's a, that's a normal six iron. So this pin is on the right. And then I would tee it up on the left to give a bit more feeling that you're using the space of the hole. And, um, while the wind is down off the left, I'm gonna, um, and the pin is on the right, I'm gonna try to let the wind bring it towards the pin a little bit. So a slight fade shot and let the wind do the, do the work. For the fade, you just want to uh, hit it from your setup. And that means you want to get all your, um, all your lines pointing left compared to the target line. So that causes your, your swinging outside to inside compared to your target line. And well, you can just by adjusting your setup, you can make the same swing and um, yeah, make sure the, the blade uh, stays uh, fractionally open compared to your, your swing line. Ball a little bit left in the stance. Think fade. Well, with the draw, you keep the club face on target again, but then you put it more right in your stance. That makes your shoulders close a little bit and make the same swing. and not push it that much.